Hey guys, it's Andrew again. Um, there's a major lack of content on the channel right now between Lost in Reach being delayed, doing counting on my hands, and other stuff. You know, like Nick leaving, there's the video about that. Uh, so I decided to do a room or rooms tour, considering how I've got two bedrooms here at my dad's house, which is going to be the first room, and at my mom's house, which I'm going to be going to in a couple days. So, yeah, that and, uh, yeah, again, content for the channel. I need it, and bakotan has got the right idea. Room tour, get, let people get to know you a little better. Anyway, so, let's do this. So let's just, I'm just going to turn around the screen. There we go. Yeah, I'm not wearing my glasses, so. Anyway, this is a bed. Nothing really special except uh, an interesting story. Here's my, uh, if you watch The Simpsons, you'll recognize this immediately. Uh, a Duff beer can pillow. Uh, interesting story about this. I just graduated from high school, if you guys didn't already know. And I got this at Grad Bash. We just went to Universal Studios as a school, as the senior class. And I picked this up at the end of the night. I cuddle with it every night. And I think it's a sign to my impending loneliness later in life. So that's something interesting. It's very soft. I got it for 25 bucks, and it's it's durable. We're going to be going back to Universal in October. Me, my dad, my sister, and maybe Allie. Uh, there will be a video about that, especially since the new Simpsons part of the park expanded. So, yeah. Uh, my computer, my desktop to be specific, I got this as a birthday gift for my dad. Focus, focus. There you go. Uh, it was about 600 bucks from Tiger Direct, I believe. Um, I'm not really going to list the specs. All I know, all I can really say is that it's good for what I'm trying to do. And my monitor, it's a full screen monitor. I'm going to get a new one soon. Uh, I was just listening to the new Queens of the Stone Age album, and I, I think it's a really good album. Camera shake. I'm, I've got a very shaky hand. Uh, two things I perpetually open are Skype and Steam. I'm downloading Fallout 3 on Steam now. Summer sale is ending. Uh, my headset, which is the Creative Fatality. It's good. A bag full of stuff, like games and my 3DS. My laptop, which I don't really take out often here. My Jack Skellington wallet. My Sonic screwdrivers. Shaky hand. And under one of them, under tenants is the HP tech support number, you know, just in case. Uh, my shelves, and I, I, I'm out of shape. I'm, <laughs> I'm struggling to breathe because I'm talking so much. Uh, the Star Wars prequels, which I brought them here just so I could uh, listen to Brain Scratch, Com's uh, riff tracks of each of them. Very enjoyable. I recommend it. Uh, Dragon Ball GT season two. Um, I like GT. That's a whole. There's, that's a topic for a whole nother video, though. The only reason I brought it here is because I'm going to capture uh, the last ending credits uh, sequence in the series, because I'm going to be uh, doing a version of that for the end of Lost in Reach. Spoilers! Uh, How I Met Your Mother Season 4. I've been collecting these seasons again, and the fifth season's coming in tomorrow as of the time of this recording. Uh, an Xbox controller, my Fedora, which is going into retirement. The Adobe Creative Suite, let's zoom in a bit on that. Sh fucking shaky hand. I'm not good for camera work. Uh, yeah, it's the, uh, it's the student version. The Star Wars original trilogy, I love that. My dad is laughing in the background, he's watching National Lampoon's Vacation, or Vegas Vacation, whichever one. I haven't, I haven't seen the original Lampoon's with Chevy Chase yet. Uh, Bruce Almighty, you can see, tucked away. The Dark Knight Trilogy, uh, which was kind of a rip-off. I just got the bargain bins in a nicer box. Um, there's a bargain bin copy of Dark Knight, speaking of. A couple of my DS games, which are Pokemon Black and Hard Gold. Uh, I love Hard Gold. I think it is a very, very good remake of Gold, and with some crystal elements. And I have the physical copy of uh, Like Clockwork, the new Queens of the Stone Age album. Here are my PS2 games. I just picked up Sly Cooper a few months ago. The first Jack and Daxter, which is my second copy. Same with King Hearts 2 and Reaching Memories. Uh, my copies of Tenkaichi 2, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2, are in this. Or is blah, it's in this somewhat ruined PS2 case. It's black. And then I have Jack 2 and 3 in these cases. And I have Kingdom Hearts 1 in this GameStop case. And Jack X is somewhere in here. 
most of my Xbox games are here. You know, I got Halo's Mass Effect. I have uh, the first three Roger Moore Bond movies. I haven't really watched those yet. Uh, Metal Gear Rising, uh, borrowing it from Frank. I haven't really played it much yet, though. Sorry, man. I'll get around to it. Uh, Metal Gear Solid HD Collection, Assassin's Creed 3, Final Fantasy 13, all three of which I've yet to complete. Beatles Rock Band and Green Day Rock Band Plus and Rock Band 3. I love Rock Band. Sonic Generations, which I think is better on PC. Budokai HD Collection, because I loved the Budokai games growing up. Uh, Battlefield 3. It's good. Halo 3, Wars, and the limited edition of Halo 4. Then up there I've got my my camera bag. My graduation duck, because I didn't get a yearbook. I had a bunch of classmates sign a duck. Uh, my Halo 4 promotional box I got from GameStop. If you've seen that video, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. A uh, bunch of medals. Uh, graduation medals and medal I won for uh, Station 18, if you've ever seen that one. I recommend checking it out. Look, it, it's reflective. You can see the camera in it a little. Ooh. Some new red curtains. My hop hog with my Xbox. And there's my... Halo Reach wireless uh, headset for my 360. It's still kicking. Granted, every time, every now and again, it'll disconnect, but it, it's still going strong. Yeah, I still have an older model 360. It heats up the room like a bitch. My Hop Hog, which hasn't seen as much use as I'd like, and these cables are my PS2, which I'll show in a sec. Xbox controller, and I keep the battery pack out so it doesn't drain the battery. It's happened to me before. Um, PS2 controllers, the cord on this one is horribly, horribly tangled, so I'm just using a Pelican controller, where I put, oops, yeah, and then there's my PS2, I bought this from my friend Chris Cassidy, uh, Solar Storm 25 of Rocks Be Everything Crush, I'm gonna center that. I originally had a fat PS2, but I sold it around the time ODST was coming out, but I kept my memory card. This is that memory card. It's got uh, a lot of the data from games I used to play. Well, actually, all the games I have now, it's got all the data on here, so that's good. Stick that back in there. And I got a new memory card from Solar. It had some Ratchet Deadlocked uh, content on there, which I deleted, even though I could have abused that for Jack X. Then my PS1 memory card, which uh, the only PS1 game I really play anymore is Final Fantasy VII, because I picked that up last year. I'm only about nine hours in, though. I haven't made much time, but I fucking love it. I just got to the Chocobo farm. Then, my TV. See me in there. It is a... Come on, focus. Focus. Just, there you go. Oh, fuck. There you go. It's a 36-inch ProScan. It does not like my DirecTV remote, because as you can see, I have direct TV. Um, so I have to keep both remotes. Come on, focus. Come on. Eh. There we go. No. Oh. I'm just going to back away a little. There we go. So, yeah, there's the hot ball cable. Um, my, one of my Guitar Hero controllers, the one I got from World Tour, the one from Legends of Rock is Frank's, and that's at my mom's house, which I'll be going to in a couple days. Or probably tomorrow, really. And then there's my Doctor Who poster, which uh, my camera is recognizing. Chris Eccleston and Patrick Troughton's faces on there. You know, Matt Smith's is the biggest, but whatever. Um, oh, now it's recognizing everyone. <laughs> it's giving smile ratings on Eccleston. 38% smile. Okay, then. Uh, yeah, I like this poster. I got it for about $9. Got the frame for about 10 I have a couple other posters to hang up, like my Dark Knight Trilogy poster. Uh, which I got last year from the midnight screening of Dark Knight Rises. And a Destiny poster from pre-ordering, which I'm probably going to have to change that pre-order around a bit. There is my favorite doctor, Paul McGann. As many of you, uh, many of my friends know, I love Paul McGann. going to pick up his audio plays at some point soon. Uh, let's show you the outside. You know, if uh, the light will... There you go. There's my dad's car and his girlfriend's car. It's really nice out. It, we just had a sun shower. You know, that happens in Florida. I'm going to show you a bit more around. Yeah, it's, an, it's a nice neighborhood. It's very green. I might, as well, I might as well show you the closet. Open both doors. 
Oh, there's my bass. My acoustic electric bass. Um, I play it often enough. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm great, but I'm, I'm decent. My backpack, belts, uh, dress wear. And my pimp suit is all the way in the back there. And then there's my tripod, which is the same tripod that I used in school. So that's interesting. And then here's my Dark Knight Trilogy poster, which I don't feel like unraveling right now. So that's pretty much my room at my dad's house. Um, just going to switch it up right now, and let's go to my mom's house. Alright, so I've been in my mom's house for a few days, so it's time to show you my room here. Oh shit, my mom's home. Hopefully we won't have an encounter with her. Uh, my door. Uh, Halo 3 Mythic cover I saw on Bungie.net back in 09. A heartogram, Shadow the Hedgehog, some bands. Uh, a Halo 3 poster and him. I really should get rid of that. I'm not really big a big fan of him. And the room. I'm going to try to get through this quickly and easily. So here's my desk. It's the same kind of desk at my dad's house, except this one's a bit more fucked up. Uh, the keyboard pullout thing is stuck. There's there's a nail in there. Yeah, it's right there. Or a screw, my bad. Uh, my bed, same size. It's queen. My ceiling fan, which is really uh, starting to go. There's something ticking around in there. Uh, my DVDs. Uh, start with the uh, very top of the shelf. Uh, my globe that uh, my grandfather gave me. Some banks. Yes, I was a huge fan of Thomas the Tank Engine when I was a kid. No hate, no hate. Oh crap, I just put on s Oh, okay, I just clicked a button by accident. Okay. Um, a Pikachu plush, a Shadow the Hedgehog. Well, Super Shadow that I colored black years ago. Uh, a 1-Up Mushroom from years ago. I got candies in there. My 4-Star Dragon Ball, which I bought last year. Uh, something my mom made. It's it's made to hold like jewelry and stuff. Thomas the Tank Engine. It's nice. I had like all these sets on here when I was younger. Uh, Doctor Who Sonic Screwdriver Packaging. And this was something for school. I had to get donations. Uh, it's actually for change right now. It's Batman Beyond themed. Alright, so here is my shelf full of uh, series that I'm collecting and such. Uh, here's the first five seasons of How My Mother. As you can see, season three. I got one of those boxed ones, but I didn't get the box. So I learned to all to buy all new now, so this doesn't happen again. Here's Scrubs. As you can see, I have uh, three of them in, are in boxes. Seasons two, one, two, and four are in boxes. Season three, however, is just a jewel case with a slipcover. Uh, my Doctor Who and Torchwood, which is The Five Doctors, uh, the TV movie with Paul McGann, my favorite doctor, uh, Chris Eccleston for Series 1, and Series 1 and 2 of Torchwood, which are labeled as Seasons here and on uh, BBC America Shop. I, I still call them Series, though. And then all my Dragon Ball DVDs. Um, it's not a complete set yet. I only have the first two seasons of Dragon Ball. In fact, I was just putting on Season 2 uh, a few minutes ago. Then here is Seasons 1 through 8 of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I still need Season 9, and I don't have the uh, slip for Season 8. So it sticks out like a sore thumb right now. Uh, until I get Season 9, in which all these slips are coming off, so it'll look like the logo. And then there's GT, which, yeah, I have the complete series, but I haven't removed the slips, because my Season 2 is kind of a slant, but whatever, I still have it. Then I have two of the Steel Books, which have been discontinued, and now I have to go buy the movie packs. Uh, I've got Volume 6 and 7, the Broly pack, which I'll show you right here, Broly. Shove that back in. And uh, Fusion Reborn, Wrath of the Dragon. Um, I like the first Broly movie, Broly Second Coming. I like the music, but I'm not really too fond of the movie itself. Bio Broly can just go suck it. Uh, Fusion Reborn, it's got okay action. I like Gogeta. And Wrath of the Dragon is fantastic to me. Adobe Creative Suite Master Collection, Trials, and Star Wars Galaxies, which I never got to play before they shut it down. So next shelf. Uh, a bunch of magazines and strategy guides, like for Super Mario Brothers 3, for the GBA, Budokai 2, and 
Budokai 3, which I use this one every now and again because I have Budokai 3 for the Xbox. Battlefront 2, yeah. Yeah, I, we're, I'm just get, getting back into Battlefront 2 for the PC, so I should probably take this back to my dad's since we're playing Battlefront 2 more often. Anyway, an issue of Game Informer that my friend Shane gave me a while back, back when Bioshock was coming out. Yeah, remember Bioshock? Uh, well, actually, before Bioshock, actually. Uh, and there's a Kingdom Hearts 2 article here from when it was coming out, so I hold on to it. I got this years ago. Dragon Ball Z, Book of Heroes and Villains. Um, I don't real. I don't really look at it. It's a kid's thing. So, uh, my one issue of Nintendo Power I picked up because it's Kingdom Hearts. Uh, three, five, eight, three, five, eight days over two, which I'll be showing that in a sec. Uh, some Beckett Pokemon collector magazines that my uncle gave me years ago. Um, it's all like old Pokemon card collecting things and articles on the stuff. Uh, the company's long gone. I really do like flipping through these magazines every now and again, though, because these were back when Gen 2 was just starting to come around, so it's really nostalgic. Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green from Prima. Yeah, this guy fucking sucks. <laughs> Um, it does everything from the beginning of the game to, uh, uh, the first time you become champion, including the first three of the Sebi Islands, but it doesn't really tell you much. Yeah, it tells, it gives you diagrams of all the maps, but it doesn't, but yeah, it doesn't really do much. Now, I have the Pokemon Emerald guidebook from Nintendo Power, which is a really great guidebook. I love Nintendo Power guidebooks. They are the best guidebooks you could possibly hope to get. Um, funny thing, I puked on the back of this. You're not going to see any resin. But it came out okay, and it's a bit scratched up. But I still look through this book all the time. I absolutely love this book. And even though I don't have Emerald anymore, uh, I have Ruby, which I got rid of my Ruby Sapphire guidebook a long time ago. Uh, I still thumb through this, you know, as a, as a guide. Then Jack 2... Jack 2 guidebook. I got this with my copy of Jack 2. Well, my original copy. And I still flip through this all the time. It's got precursor orb locations. It's, I don't know how well Brady Games guides are anymore, but this was a really good guide. Uh, the Bionicle Encyclopedia. It's a great book, and it went all the way up to Hordika. So, if you want to know about those times of Bionicle, well, find the Bionicle Encyclopedia, because it is really good, and it's got some, uh, it's got one or two, uh, rocky building competition, uh, monsters in here. Uh, an issue of Bass Player Magazine I got from my old physics teacher from junior year. I still flip through it, it's got some cool stuff. And these are the rest of my Xbox games. Uh, Fallout 3 up there, I now own three copies of this game. I have one on demand, courtesy of Frank, on Xbox. I've got this physical copy. And I have the Steam version, which is also games for Windows. So if you want to take that all into account, I more or less have four versions of this game. Fallout New Vegas, I now have two versions of this game. I have it on PC now. Skyrim, which this is actually Casey's. I gotta get this back to him. I have I have Skyrim on PC now too. Borderlands, which I bought this at the same time I bought Borderlands for Falco. We gotta play this sometime. Um, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, it's pretty good. For Assassin's Creed 2 though. Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit. I'm not sure how well you're seeing that because of the glare, but that's Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit. If you like Budokai, you're going to love Burst Limit. It's honestly really good. I had no expectations going in. Well, low expectations, but... Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock? Well, it, most people consider it the definitive Guitar Hero, and I can see why. Halo 3 ODST? I got it first day. I felt ripped off because I had all the Halo 3 map packs up to that point. Halo Anniversary it is a great anniversary um, remaster or reissue of Halo. Call of Duty 4, the only, well, one of the better Call of Duties. Um, I don't play it much anymore, and when I do, I play the single player. Sonic Unleashed, which, well, it's long and. Let me reposition the camera. There we go. It's long and uh, the Warehog sucks, but you know, it's not that bad. If you can find it cheap, I'd say go for it. My tassel from graduating. Class 2013, and Sonic 06. See right there. Uh, it's not as bad as people say, in my opinion. If, I, but if you can find it for really, really cheap, 
like five dollars is pushing it then pick it up and experience it for yourself it, it's a marvel how bad it is jenga which my sister decides to just put on my shelf uh cds and ps1 games okay Psst. just go my hand on the camera got some blank actually those aren't blank are those blanks no those are not blanks those are no, they are blank CDR, DVD minus R's, or plus R's, my bad. A blank CDR, Dragon Ball GT Final Bout, which this is the reissue version. Yeah, you can see that well. Uh, it's aged horribly. I still play it every now and again, though. Uh, the Revenge of the Sith CD soundtrack, which the cover sleeve is on my wall as a poster. It is a poster. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, which, it's okay. I didn't beat it yet, though. SpongeBob Super Sponge, I never really liked it. Digimon Rumble Arena. I'm not a Digimon fan, but I really do like this game. I really like this game. Halo 3 ODST Original Soundtrack. I love this soundtrack. This is how I uh, got the soundtrack in recovery. I used this disc. Some sort of random CDs. Uh, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland Soundtrack. I love Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. This soundtrack has a small snippet of the songs used in that. Not even some of the best, but it's a really good assortment of just a few songs from it. Aaron Carter, Another Earth. Like, I was a kid. I'm going to put that out there right now. I was a kid. It's okay for its time, but it's aged. Kiss, Dress to Kill. It's it's good. I, mean, I got it mainly because Rock and Roll All Night was on it, but it's a good remaster. Uh, Shrek 2 Party CD. It's Shrek 2 Party CD. Here are all my DS games, uh, Pokemon, Kingdom Hearts, and Kingdom Hearts. Limited editions of Halo Reach 4, I got Metroid Prime, and Metroid Prime 3, and uh, busted, not busted copy of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. My books, Halo, I have Bionicle and Harry Potter back there. I don't know how you can see the Harry Potter. Just for the Brits' sake, I'm going to move these out of the way, because I know our book covers look different, and I'm ruining everything. Yeah, our book covers look very different, like you, you guys know, we have the Philosopher, we don't have the Philosopher Stone, we got the Sorcerer Stone. Uh, my Bionicle books, I have Bionicle Chronicles 1 and 2, Legends, I have all the Legends books, or Adventures books, my bad. Legends, I have 1 through 6. Uh, some Star Wars Children's Editions books. Um, all the Kingdom Hearts manga, except for the big ones that are coming out, Tokyo Pop is releasing the entirety of Kingdom Hearts 2 in manga form, which I gotta get my hands on. So... Those are going to be big volumes. Uh, Secret Code 2005. That's fucking old. Uh, some manga. King, um, yu gi -Oh! 1 and 2. I really do like that manga. Naruto and Bleach. Meh. The rest of my DVDs. Oh, Shadow the Hedgehog Cat. Hi. Uh, we got Sue Griffin, The Untold Story. I have Bionicle 1. Bionicle 2 is in that uh, Pokemon room with the view case. Spider-Man 2 and 3. I have 1 floating around. Back to the Future, uh, it's a seven disc set. All the Harry Potters, which I, I have to rewatch them sometime. Uh, Mega's XLR, seasons one and two. I actually, I actually made those DVDs myself. Those are not legitimate DVDs, I'm saying that right now. Like, the person who made this cover uh, made it in the PAL style. You know, there's this little triangle that says PG on here. In fact, I'm gonna zoom in a bit on that. Yeah, it says PG, so it's a PAL-style case. Transformers 1 through 3, another copy of Broly's Second Coming. Anyone want it? Maybe. Uh, the last few episodes in Dragon Ball Z, well, some of the last episodes. Family Guy Seasons 3 and uh, second half of Season 4. That's Sydney Show Season 5. Shrek 2, Scooby-Doo 2, Futurama, Fat Albert, Spongebob movie. I have no idea where that Spongebob disc went. Now for my VHS tapes, I still use these. Uh, the first three Pokemon movies, Inspector Gadget movies... First one, bleh. Second one, bleh. Sea Spot Run, I haven't seen that in a while. Jimmy Neutron. The first Broly, I hold on to this no matter what because previews and there's this little thing before the movie starts where it's talking about the bands and I really like the bands that are in it. More Dragon Ball Z, including uh, History of Trunks. Hold on, just redo this camera again. And I really do like History of Trunks, even if it is an edited cut. Awesome Powers 1 and 2, um, 10 Pokemon tapes, hi Pikachu. Yeah, I got Titanic here too, what, what are you going to say to me? I, I, I enjoy this movie very much. It's on two VHS tapes, so 
Now you gotta rewind it all in order to watch it. Uh, I got, what do I have here? Uh, Scooby-Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf. Oh, I, I love that movie. I was wondering where I put that because I don't have the case for it anymore. Uh, VHS copy of Harry Potter 1. I still watch it every now and again, but I have the DVD. And then I have Kangaroo Jack, and you already saw it. The 1995 Star Wars Episode 4 VHS tape. I prefer this version to all from uh, the special edition. As for Empire and Jedi, I prefer the 2004 special editions. This, however, I prefer uh, the early, like the earliest high quality version possible. That's before special editions, and this is pretty much that. It is my favorite version of the movie. Um, it's actually got pretty good quality for VHS, in my opinion. So let me just stick that back in here. Mm. You know, I'll, I'll do that later. So there's a little Guitar Hero controller Frank gave me. My closet. Which just more clothes, like uh, some board games up there, some clothes. Got a bathrobe, and I have this. I have this nice coat uh, that I'm considering wearing for a series in the future. Only problem is that, and no one notices this until I point it out. It's a woman's coat. You notice that by looking at the buttons. So anyway. Uh, this is where my Xbox would normally go, but the internet is so bad here that I decided not to really bring it much anymore. Uh, my TV, it's like a 26-inch TV. It's okay. Um, satellite box, which I'm hooked up to, to the TV via S-Video cable. My VCR, which has nothing in it right now because I haven't watched anything in a while. My DVD player, which is currently on. I was watching Dragon Ball. Uh, just got to the General Blue Saga. My stereo, which I haven't plugged in since it became somewhat possessed. It just started going crazy one day, so I unplugged it. I haven't plugged it back in since. Um, I have some Star Wars Legos. I have the V-Wing, which I know the guns are a bit off now, like how they're made, but it's still the basic V-Wing. Uh, the Lego X-Wing, this took me like three hours to build the Christmas I got it, but um, long story short, a blast toys attacked it, and now most of the some of the wing pieces are gone, which really depresses me. I really do like this X wing. In fact, where the hell did Luke go? It's probably my old Lego bag. Anyway, uh, there's my DS Lite, and there's Pokemon Ruby. There's my Ho Oh minifigure from Getting Heart Gold pre-ordered. Giratina Papercraft, which I got from Nintendo Power, which is currently a bit disassembled, but whatever. I got this when I bought Final Fantasy XIII for Soul Calibur V, you know, just, they were just giving them away at Walmart, whatever, that's cool. Um, an arm pillow, which, you know, if someone sleeps over, they sleep here, with my PSP on it. I haven't played it in a while, and I'm pretty sure I know the game that's in here. Uh, yeah, it's Kingdom Hearts, Birth by Sleep. Really great game. One of the best PSP games. My bag, which is falling apart. And my Converse, which are right by my window focus. Yeah, look at that palm tree with dead branches and leaves. Uh, and look at the lawn. It's, well, you can't really see it. Oh, wait, let me see. It, it used to look a lot better, but it looks okay now. I live here. Um, well, I live here, and contrary to the belief of some people, I, I, I don't mind how it looks. Um, some awards, which I don't know if I showed you the awards at my dad's house. These are a uh, this award is for Night of the Wind, which it was on the only thing in animation that year, so it won by default. And this is for helping with the news piece. I got fourth place. Well, we all got fourth place. My night table, which has my remotes, um, satellite TV, DVD, 3DS, wallet, phone, miscellaneous glove, glasses case, retainer case, I don't really use my retainer anymore, and my iPod dock. Um, I don't say iHome because it's called a dream machine. Actually, that's the first time I actually ever looked at that. So, just turn this back around. Those are my bedrooms. Uh, I know this video is pretty long. I had a lot to talk about uh, sentimental values and such. But I hope you guys enjoyed it because episode 13 of Lost in Reach is coming soon. Finally got Joel's lines for the next few episodes. And I should 
really remember the lighting rules and that's too much light okay so thanks guys for watching this is another camera test and again sorry it took so long for this video well actually this video was long so